Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. I don't know. Today's been a weird thoughtless day, I guess. I don't know. Uh, finally, the plumber is done. We now, I've called the gas company. They're coming to turn it back on after 4 o'clock, so I've got to kind of stay here. I hope they come close to 4, which is pretty soon, because I need to run and get the mail, and I really can't leave, and Mother's not home. Okay, that's not why I'm coming at you. I'm coming at you. I want to ask you kind of a survey, not a survey question, but a thought-provoking question, some kind of question. Um, and this does involve uh, sort of left-right things, which I think, you know, I'm not keen on the left-right paradigm. I think it's BS and all that. But I'm just wondering, like, say that you're more, that you consider yourself to be, even though I've encouraged you to drop your labels, let's say that you tend to... Uh, fall in line closer with maybe a more conservative way of thinking. Does it ever cross your mind that a liberal thinker might say something truthful? And then let's flip that around. If you consider yourself to be more of a liberal type or progressive type, do you ever consider the possibility that somebody on the other side of the aisle could be correct about something? I'm just wondering because, well, I don't want to get into too many details, but um, there was just a little, um, I had a conversation today with a, a friend of mine, and um, it was about whenever I did the live gig with uh, Spencer and George, and a lot of things were lost in translation there in terms of George. You know, he does, he's not, this is not his first language. But um, I think that some got the impression that he was like some uber conservative, which he's not really. On certain things, I think he is, though. Um, but it was, okay, let me just get through that first. So, uh, yeah, they kind of, because he was talking about the immigration stuff going on over in Europe, that some, I think, got the impression that he was some, like, right-wing... Uh, loon or whatever you call it no it's supposed to be left wing loon and right wing i don't know reactionary i can't think of it um and he he's not really but on that particular subject i think he knows quite a bit about what's going on now what he mentioned to me this was after the gig we were driving up to uh on the way back or on the way up to judge the chili cook off and i asked him a little bit more about that and what he was trying, what really, I think, was lost in translation or didn't get to come out because the person who asked the question told me to stop. I don't know why, and then we did, and then it was supposed to go on. It was very confusing. But um, the bottom line is that evidently, in some cases, okay, and I, I don't think he clarified this during the answer of that question, in some cases with the immigration that's being basically forced over in Europe, and it's really because of, you know, clearly the United States and England's, you know, war policies or, you know, dropping bombs on everybody and all that stuff, which my son brought up. If you, anybody who went, who watched the live show knows what I'm talking about. I hope those who didn't can follow this gobbledygook, 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 gob, whatever. Um, yeah, the, what he was trying to get a, a part across was, for some of these people, some, when they come in, like say their closest place to get to would be Italy. But they're not really satisfied with that social safety net, so they go further in. Not because Italy says, get you know, go elsewhere. Because they find out there might be more, I don't know, perks? I don't really know how to put it. And mind you, this is what was just explained to me. I'm not saying that I know anything about it firsthand because I only know what we've been told here uh, in our corporate media mainly, which, you know, seeps into other avenues and outlets and stuff. So I've heard a lot about this from different walks of life, different uh, political thinkers, so to speak, that some of it, the information is suppressed from us. There, there are some shenanigans that unfold with some of the immigrants that are not really told to people because they don't want to come off sounding like blaming immigrants for something or but, and they don't admit to that maybe a crime or something that was committed like they're protecting them is what I'm trying to say oh my god 
I don't even know if I can follow my own train of thought at this point. But what he was saying is sometimes when they catch wind of more perks, say in another country, they will go there in order to kind of, you know, garner some things that weren't offered, say, in Italy. I hope that makes sense. So there was a little bit of nuance to it in terms of, like, some people take advantage of this, other people don't. Most of the people are victims of this, you know, the war-torn environment from which they're fleeing. Oh, I thought that I brought my coffee. Darn. So, you know, I just wanted to sort of clarify that because I think a lot of, a lot of it was missed in translation and then, you know, so forth and so on. Now, on the way back from that chili cook-off, uh, George asked me a real cute question. He asked me what a liberal was. And I felt kind of weird because I really had to explain what a liberal used to be. Because I think in this day and age, people are getting terms all mixed up and they're, like, they're considering somebody like Hillary Clinton, oh my God, there's my thumbs down, or Barack Obama to be liberals when, in the true sense of the word, I don't think they really would be. I think they would be more centrist to right. I mean, they are for social things, I guess. It's a hard definition, but what I did was explain what they used to be. I mean, we really don't have a party that is anti-war of one of the two major parties. Clearly, the Green Party would be anti-war, and really, I think the Libertarian Party, honestly, would be that way as well. So, that was kind of a shame that I had to explain to what the ideal would be or what, what it used to be or something. But, yeah, so anyhow, this led to... The original thing about George led to... I don't want to say an argument because I love this person. We weren't... I mean, I was just pointing some stuff out. But I did ask, like, did it ever occur to this person that... Say George were a right-winger. Does that mean he can never be right about something? Especially when he knows people over there... Totally, his homeland is over there. He has family there. And he's lived, I mean, he just recently um, moved to Florida. Prior to that, he worked on a cruise ship. And then prior to that, that's where he made his life was in Europe. So, just because George is, or what was perceived to be, using right-wing talking points or something, does that mean that he was wrong? Maybe there is more to the story than what a lot of the media outlets are saying. Now, I don't think it's as severe as, oh my God, there's all kinds of no-go zones and, you know, everybody's being raped when they go to the store to grab a pack of cigarettes. I don't think it's that bad. But I do allow for, that could be partially true kind of statement. You know, I think some of it's overblown and some of it's underreported. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gentlemen, because I just sort of wanted to clear it up. And again, let me get to the bottom line. The basic point I'm trying to make is, can you accept that somebody who does not share your political philosophy could be correct about an issue? Yes or no? Now, clearly, I don't identify as anything anymore. I think you've noticed that I have talked kindly about Ron Paul and Bernie Sanders, for example, and Dennis Kucinich and Cynthia McKinney and even some of the things that Rand Paul says, but not so much. I like Ron better, especially with foreign policy. I mean, we'll have to have a fist fight over the economic thing or the social safety net at another time. You know what I mean? So I do... I think, of course, if you're a liberal, you can be right about things. And if you're a conservative, you can be right about certain things as well. So that's my answer. It's only fair that I give my answer. But I don't really identify as anything. So I don't know if I even fit into the category of those being surveyed on this. I hope to holy matrimony this makes sense because I've got to sign off and I'm not even going to be able to. I'm just going to have to post it without playing it back first, which I usually do. I usually don't play it back first. I just post it. But in this case, God, I hope I made a look of sense. In other words, I just, I don't know. I think people really get, and I'm not saying this person with whom I was sort of debating or explaining on the other chat, he, I don't, this person doesn't get wound up in an identity, I don't think. I think it was just, some people are really used to just hearing their own point of view, like in an echo chamber. And not this person, oh my God, I'm not saying that at all. 
I'm saying some people, it just reminded me to say this, uh, really, really are very much taken aback and shocked, and dare I say they clutch their pearls, when they hear another opinion being expressed, because oftentimes we, what is it, water finds its own level. Have you ever heard that saying? Water seeks its own level or something. Gosh, I think that was right. But, you know, you tend to want to do confirmation bias or live in an echo chamber. And then when you hear somebody like George maybe pointing out that absolutely they've had some trouble with some of the people immigrating, some of the people that have been forced to leave or, you know, whatever, that it's not all roses and butterscotch. I think some people are very shocked because they're not used to hearing that. So, I guess. I mean, Lord, there's good and bad in every group, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure there are some people that try to sneak in with the real um, refugees and stuff like that. But for the most part, I think that it's absolutely a shame what has led to this destabilization, thereby having it so people have to leave their own country. People don't want to leave their own country. They're not delighted about it either. So, all right, launching with Lisa, the video series that has me launching while coming at you thoughts today. Please join me, join others, drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door and research before you judge. Yeah, thought I'd jazz it up there, please.